welcome you to worker number one, uh, nine in our 21 day abs challenge. So we're going today going to use a timer. We're going to have uh, 10 full minutes, 50 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Um, it's going to be uh, five exercises, two rounds and uh, that's pretty much it. So let's get started. The first exercise is going to be bicycle legs. So let's go. We are having an option. This is an option one, an option two. We are going to go into full bicycles. So let's go. It's a bit dark over here. So keep going. So we are having for 50 seconds. So make sure if this one gets too hard, you can just focus on swapping to an easier option, which is this one. Keep going. Come on. So the next exercise, so you're having this 15 seconds to go. The next exercise is, we're going to go into plank and you're going to do a plank builder. You can do it from your knees or a full one. Okay, excellent. We're having 10 seconds rest. So basically, this is how it looks like. So you are here and you're going to lift and then alternate, okay? Or you're going to go into full one. Because of my wrists, I'm going to stick with the lower ones. If this is basically not good for your wrists, you can just hold the full plank. But this one, even I can feel it now, which basically puts the pressure in your abdominals because you are changing the direction of your upper body and to keep those hips down. Come on. You can just stick with the, the normal plank. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to go on our side. We're going to place our hand here, hand here, so you send me the, an option one, bringing those knees in. If this is basically too much, you can just use this one as an alternative or coming all the way up. So you're going to do this one side and then the other side. So basically with this one, I'm sitting on the softer part of my hip. Oh my God, this is so hard. So it's a softer part of my hip rather than on my bone of my hip. Come 15 seconds to go. Come on. Oh my god. Let's go to the other side. So remember you have this as an option. And just a little, little crunches. Option number two, sit back. Or option number three, full ones. I'm going to use these ones. And the last one is going to be CrossFit sit ups. So you can say, it's even hard for me. I'm not saying that you should do anything less than that. But when it's hard, it's normal. It just means that you're challenging yourself to get better. Oh my God, okay, cross your sit-ups. Feet are basically here. Arms up above your head and then you're crunching all the way up. Ready? Let's go. So, if this is too much for you, you can literally bring the feet in, down. Feet in, down. So, keeping your feet open, so your knees open, it's uh, stopping your hip flexors getting tired, especially of the last two exercises where you work with your hips. It's weird, 
I'm likely to be finding really difficult today. I'm definitely... Oh dear, okay. Now the next one we're going to do the bicycles. This is the last round. Okay, let's go. So, when it comes to tummy exercises, um, again, the back, your back is very important. Um, and also when it comes to a time that you're doing it, everyone is thinking, oh, it's not worth me doing five minutes each day or five minutes a few times a week. If you're thinking, if you're doing more than you would normally do as on your average week, if you do anything, you're going to be far more better off doing those five minutes. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> oh God, ow. Let's go plank builder. So, don't get discouraged thinking about that doesn't matter or like if I'm today or also um, what I'm now experiencing if you're training let's see if you're in training and if you feel like you've been training too much we're not talking about if you're training three times a week that should be your norm just because your body to keep the vitality, vitality and the longevity you really need to give the body that movement that it needs and craves so if you haven't built up yet to do something like even like a physical activity like three times a week planned a walk that is far better off you're far better off with your heart and lungs blood flow and everything else then now so let's go side ones remember these are the crunches alternative or these ones come on we're nearly done Since I started walking more, honestly, it's just uh, crazy how much my body started giving me that kind of like a feedback, a great positive vibe um, for me to kind of keep being physically active. It really just came more naturally rather than me forcing it. Oh my God, swap the other side. Um, but when it comes to food, it's again, it's a personal choice. What is your goal? For me, it's literally more my behavior than, than the specific foods that I eat. Oh, why did I choose these ones? These are so hard. So if you need any anything, any answers about exercise or food, do give me a shout. Oh my god, 10 seconds. Oh my god. Oh. Yes, so yeah, just make sure you you stick with what you what is important to you, um, whatever that is, um, and don't give up. If the thing is, it's like I've always found I needed answers to understand why I was behaving a certain way, and you know, the more let you yourself being curious to find those answers to your life. It's going to be easier. Uh, if I knew about food, what I know now, 
actually how to create a balance is all one matters is about uh, balancing calories Oof. may not this sleep <sighs> well probably I wouldn't be 39 and uh, feeling pretty content so okay so well done everyone uh, make sure you stretch um, so we are getting on with uh, day number 10 uh, after tomorrow uh, make sure you keep posting in the comments below and uh, stick with it it really does work keep sure make sure you keep drinking lots of water and stay positive and keep going see you the next workout bye